food banks in the Bay Area and across the country are in trouble. The need is increasing at a time when federal, state, and local funding that was generated during the pandemic is dried up. Guard Forest Dan Kerman reports. As of July 1st, all of that extra funding food banks received from federal, state, and local governments to keep people fed during the COVID-19 pandemic has gone away. Unfortunately, the need has not. The need is up. The need is greater than it's ever been, and yet the resources have gone away. Before the pandemic, the San Francisco Marin Food Bank was servicing 32,000 households a week. Now it serves 50,000 households a week. But over the next year, that number will be scaled back to just under 40,000 due to the funding cuts. The home delivery grocery program will be scaled back and the pop-up pantry program will go away entirely. There's still more good that could and should be done in our community. So we're gonna continue to press forward. We're gonna raise all the funds we can. We're gonna rally community support and we're gonna keep pressing forward with good policy solutions. San Francisco Marin Food Bank Executive Director Tennis Crosby says one solution California needs is to reform CalFresh, the federal program that provides grocery store food stamps to low-income residents. She says right now only 70% of those who are eligible for the program are getting it. In the state of California, what's needed is full-scale CalFresh reform. We need to make sure that it's easier to get. We need to make sure that when you move out of your county, you don't automatically have to reapply. There's a whole lot we can do to streamline the program, remove the red tape, and make sure that we're getting the access for people in our state. Crosby says 2.7 eligible Californians are currently not receiving CalFresh. She says that amounts to leaving $3.5 billion on the table every year. Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.